Hi, I'm Eve Metlist with Watson Realty with today's Tuesday tip. Are we about to see a new wave of foreclosures? With all of the news about COVID-19, many are concerned we may see a new wave of foreclosures. Restaurants, airlines, hotels, and many other industries are furloughing workers or dramatically cutting their hours. Without a job, many homeowners are wondering how they'll be able to afford their mortgage payments. In spite of this, there are actually many reasons why we won't see a surge in the number of foreclosures like we did during the housing crash over 10 years ago. Here are just a few of those reasons. The government learned its lesson the last time. During the previous housing crash, the government was slow to recognize the challenges homeowners were having and waited too long to grant relief. Today, action is being taken swiftly. The Federal Housing Administration indicated it's enacting an immediate foreclosure and eviction moratorium for single-family homeowners with FHA-insured mortgages for the next 60 days. The Federal Housing Finance Agency announced it's directing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to suspend foreclosures and evictions for at least 60 days. Homeowners learned their lesson the last time. When the housing market was going strong in the early 2000s, homeowners gained a tremendous amount of equity in their homes. Many began to tap into that equity. Some started to use their homes as ATM machines to purchase luxury items like cars, jet skis, and go on lavish vacations. When prices dipped, many found themselves in a negative equity situation. That's when the mortgage was more than the value of their homes. Some just walked away, leaving the banks with no other option but to foreclose on their properties. Today, the home equity situation in America is vastly different. From 2005 to 2007, homeowners cashed out $824 billion worth of home equity by refinancing. In the last three years, they cashed out only $232 billion, which is less than one-third of that amount. This has led to 37% of homes in America having no mortgage at all. And of the remaining 63%, more than one in four have over 50% equity in their homes. Even if prices dip, and most experts are not predicting that they will, most homeowners will still have vast amounts of value in their homes and will not walk away from that money. There will be help available for individuals and small businesses. The government is aware of the financial pain the virus has caused and will continue to cause. They're working on bills and legislations to help small businesses. So the bottom line, these are not going to be easy times. However, the lessons learned from the last crisis have us better prepared to weather this financial storm. For those who can't, help is on the way. That's today's Tuesday Tip.